white people, especially liberal white people. If you want white people are laughing at you, it's because it's just stupid. It's it's all stupid. Um, the kneeling, the uh, apologizing, which has been labeled as virtue signaling. Um, Well, even beyond that, the, oh, we're going to remove these racist labels, what labels that might be deemed racist, um, we're going to remove those labels. Um, it's, it's laughable because we haven't asked for that. I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking you to wash my feet and apologize and kiss my butt. That if you're really serious about eliminating racial injustice, then we need to stand side by side and work together. Just stop it. It's laughable. It's laughable. I see no virtue in it. What I see is fear. Fear. And what you also fail to understand is that you are in, you're in a, there's no way you can win this. The, the way they've set the rules and keep changing the rules, there's no way you can win this. They set it up so you can't win. Now, when you have people come out like white people are born racist and judging you on, a, on your skin color, not your character, as Martin Luther King said, that we need to be judged by our character, not our skin color, then you can't win. You cannot and will not win. No matter what you do, how far over backwards you've been, and how much brown nosing you do, you cannot win because they cheat changing the rules. So today, it may be something else that's racist. Tomorrow, it might be something else. It, it keeps changing. A few years back, the term microaggressions came out and a cultural appropriation. Um, I'll, talk, I'll talk a little bit about cultural appropriation because if you want to be genuine about it, A, um, then we need to give back to cultures what we've taken, such as, oh, oh, black people, you need to start straightening your hair. Because you're trying to look more like white people. You're trying to have that good hair that you ain't got. Oh, yeah, cultural appropriation. Oh, you make tacos? You do Taco Tuesday? No, cultural appropriation. Oh, you like Italian food? No, no, can't do that. Cultural appropriation. Let's, uh, and I'm kind of focusing on the food, so let, let, let's, let's get down to nitty gritty here. If you want to talk about cultural appropriation. Because whatever's good for the goose is good for the gander. White people shouldn't be wearing braids. White people shouldn't be doing this. White people shouldn't be doing that. Well, neither should black people. If you want to be real about it, if you want to be truly want to be woke. Because what cultural appropriation does, it segregates us. That's what it does. It segregates us. So we seem to be going backwards where black people actually want to be segregated. Not all black people. Not this black woman. So, you know, before you cower, what are you cowering to? Because it's cowering and it's cowardice. It's cowardice. Is you're 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 buying into that false evidence of playing real fear. You're driven by fear. All of this, all of this that we're seeing from the white community 
is being driven by fear. Christians are remaining silent because they're being driven by fear. Black people like myself are being silent because they're being driven by fear. We're sick of me. I'm sick of me and calling Uncle Tom a house, blah, blah, and, you know, in. Um, because I don't subscribe to your view of things. Oh, yes, the party of tolerance. The party of tolerance is the most, or the most intolerant people out there. Black people, you are being played. You are being played. You are being played. This is no longer about the white police and, and killing on our black men. It's no longer about George Floyd. It's no longer about about um, Ahmaud Arbery. It's no longer about Richard Brooks. It's no longer about um, Breonna Taylor. It never was about. It never was. So now we're going to the table. Well, I'm going to say you're going to the table and you're making these unreasonable demands. Who put that in your head? Who put that in your head? It, it, it irks me to no end that we've come to this point, but yet 2015, 20, 2014, 2015, under the Obama administration, none of this stuff was done. All this... Oh, we're going to remove this. We're going to remove that. Like taking down of the statues, ripping down the statue. It's not going to stop. What are you going to say when they tear down Martin Luther King? And put that out there. What are you going to say then? They're, they're going for Lincoln. The, the man who emancipated slaves. It, it's not going to stop because it'll never be enough until we have tyranny. Tyranny. Total anarchy and tyranny over this country. 